You did not change the spelling of your name. We were. I was just talking to Eddie about that. Eddie's driving me around. Eddie, what? Eddie, Laura. Well, he's nothing but a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you, we talked about that too. It's not. It's not. We're both I, 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 here, so that's good. You're on it right away. So, um, so yes, my my last name K O E C H N E R. It's mm -hmm. a German last name. I'm not even German. My grandfather was adopted. I'm actually a Williams, as far as I know. So if you look at me, you're like, oh, that guy's never had a tan in his life. I'm a translucent <laughs> Irish. So, so, so I've got some red hair to prove it. You got a minute after we were off the air. So, I know you can do it now. They were on a TV that happened to tell. There's a young lady president. I think I might excite I'm these young it. men. <laughs> so um, it should be Kochner or Koechner, mm -hmm. right? It's pronounced Kechner. Nowhere in the English language does the O E make the short E sound, except in Tipton, Missouri. I've got 36 first. Cousins, oh my God. Right? Dude, <laughs> listen to this. All right. My last name is Toucher, T O E T T C H E R. And my family is from Missouri. Wow. My my father's family is, is originally from Missouri. And that might be so. I changed the spelling of my name on the radio to T O U C H E R because I'm like, if it's in writing, no one's going to know what right. the hell I'm doing. Yeah. Right. So I see your last name, and I'm. This yes. is a, it, so I wonder if it's a Missouri German stupid <laughs> thing that we got stuck with. Well, it's a stupid thing. It's like, very what, dumb. It, like, at, at what point did a teacher never say, "By the way, yes, it should really be Kochner, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or 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 Toetcher, or or oh, like, like, whatever." It, like, right? it, yeah, it toucher. Just it doesn't make, make it any sense. Easier, please. Yes, put you spend the rest of your life making an excuse for the thing that you carry around every day. <laughs> yes, let's go out to lunch. <laughs> and people go like, like, you, like, oh, hey, you changed your name, like, you, like yeah, you had to change the name. It, it, no one knows what the hell it is. No, oh, touch her. Like oh, that's uh, not the point. Oh really? It's that's how it's really put out. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. you got, you come at me. Give me an original one. Yeah, yeah there's so enough that, to make fun of here. But I've got 36 first cousins on my dad's side. So what, when I got into show business, what was I supposed to do? Right. Oh, by yeah. the way, you're all getting it wrong. You always. I told my children, you don't have to say Keckner anymore. I'm like, no, we want to. I'm like, oh my mm. gosh. Mm. Okay. Look at the pride. Now my mother's last name was Downey. So I should have been David Downey at a junior. Come on, I got a leg up. <laughs> there you have it, my friend. All right, well, Danielle is not on our show. Well, I'm uh, not going to do your show. She is someone who is uh, <laughs> is on the, the country station here. Yeah. But uh, she's a lovely uh, young woman, and she is. Who told you that? Uh, no, we can see. Uh, we have experience eyes. with you. We have I, eyes. I mean, it's, it's, it's a vibe. Allegedly, yeah. It's a vibe. Well, and uh, good energy. So, so that's <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> once the mics are on, once they're off, a distance. It. <laughs> but the uh, so, but the deal is, is that she has done morning radio in town for for a while, and she's had you on before. And she was so uh, impressed by you, she wanted to be in studio for this. And we said, absolutely. Uh, it, there's no problem with that. So she is here specifically for you. She's just wow. here. I am very flattered. Because you're one of the only celebrities I've ever met that didn't turn out to be a complete letdown and a jackass oh. in person. And I'll tell you, and we discussed this years ago, I, I'm a huge office nerd. So okay. Packer, yes, obviously, and obviously Anchorman. But my favorite role of yours, mm -hmm. Nathan and Extract. Nice. We talked about that before. We did. Yes. Remember that. Yes. I love that. Because, I mean, how many people bring that up to you? It, it, Probably not you. a ton. Extract was the Mike Judge movie? Yes. Is that yeah. right? Oh, yeah. and Jason the guy Bateman. gets his nut shot off? Yes. And, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 that's right. Step. Oh, yeah, that was a good movie. It was a fantastic about movie. That. I love what men remember. Yeah. <laughs> <Very important. laughs> the I mean, it's personal. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. exactly. Do you, can you go to places without people yelling out lines to you? Um. Yeah. Yeah? But, I mean, you know, I appreciate when it happens, obviously. Well, Honest to God, you're walking. Yes, ma'am. Whammy, whammy across the yes, room. I love you. You, you did a nice wind up. Like, oh, you. whammy. <laughs> um, it'll be fun to go through the airport and then you're on those people movers, right? And uh -huh. the other person's going the other way and they'll wait till just, just to their past you. And then you'll whammy. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's fun because they'll go blammo. Like, so close. Where's the most inappropriate place someone has like quoted you? Uh, like at, a, at, the ho at the Hollywood Bowl uh, urinals. There's probably 40 urinals. And a guy going there, and it's during a song. I forget who the artist was. Even he goes, "Hey, I love you." One second, oh, I love you in True Blood. <laughs> and I go, "Well, that's very sweet, but I'm not in True Blood." And uh, he was like, "Mad." Oh yeah, you are in True Blood. I'm in True Blood. <laughs> You're the guy. <laughs> exactly right. It's Chris Bauer. Sure. Like so, every bald guy is who you think they are in your mind. Okay, so he leaves. And on the way out, he goes, I love you in true blood. 
Like I'm lying to you. I mean, why would I? Why would because, I deny being in you're Dubai? Another one of these Hollywood hotshots yes. trying to hide behind. Oh, sure. the, the, you're too big. Like yeah. no, I'm not him. The mask of just being a normal. Yes. It, he, you're in that true blood, and why won't you just admit it already? You, why won't you admit it? To I, me? I've seen your penis, and now it's time to put all the cards on the table. I know what's your red doing. hair. That's right. <laughs> we know what's going on down there. You're no, obviously. Curly. Uh, related to the uh, Cunningham fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're not of this. Like, who's the guy who? Oh, it was um Jim Rome. We were at a, the Super Bowl broadcasting, and Jim Rome had bodyguards that followed him oh, to the bathroom wow. so people wouldn't talk oh, to him while stool. he was using. But he had to use, of course, the stepping stool. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so he had to have. Like, yeah. At least you're not at that like level right. of being famous. Right. Where you have to, you know, have like a guy Fieri had um, security guards well, following to the bathroom. Except so, you're not full of self-importance like these. Well, guys. the thing, look, if if it was a problem, I can understand why you didn't introduce that into your life. Mm -hmm. If you're constantly being bothered, or Jim Rome might be a lightning rod, and you know, have a take. Right. Don't let like, don't let like, don't suck. Right. Yeah, so yeah, maybe there's rod. people that. They get aggressive, I'm guessing, right? Uh, but Rome would have bodyguards regardless. I think that's what we're getting to here. That's, but that's Rome, cool. Rome, Rome, regardless of how important he right, is, sure. would always have bodyguards. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. That's my guess. To me, that's payroll. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, You're spending money yeah. every time yeah. you want to walk out the door? Yeah, I know. And then what? These guys have become your friends. You start talking to them like, you like my outfit? Should I wear this jacket? <laughs> Does it go with this jacket? Like, now suddenly you've, you've crossed protocols. Like, wait a minute. Now the next day, the guy gets to have an ad uh, an opinion yeah. about what you're wearing. And now you're the boss. Like, oh, you don't like these shoes? Yeah. Guess what? Don't show Trump tomorrow. So I, I don't know. So you know Ricky Williams? You remember Ricky Williams? Yes. The Heisman Trophy yeah. winner? He was in here yesterday, and he showed was up by himself. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He, he, showed up, he was great. He showed up by himself. Very uh, unassuming guy. He yeah. just, uh, I was very impressed by that. He took a ride share. He took a ride a share. A ride share. Yeah. Yeah. A multimillionaire. Well, probably, maybe he's a good businessman. Or maybe he's a terrible business. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You got to look There's at There's two sides of that coin. Yeah, there is. <laughs> maybe he likes to meet people. I would not like, I would rather not, I would rather not ride share. I would, I would agree with that. Because I mean, then aren't you go, you're going for an extra stop for sure. Yes. For now, what, five bucks? Are you in a ride share? You ever been in a ride share before and you're kind of trapped because they, all of a sudden they know who you are and now you have to talk about. I've never been in a ride share. Okay. You know how you're when you're on the bus? Yes. The public bus. <laughs> so, so often. Yes. You know, hey, hey, uh, movie star. You know how when you're riding uh, the bus and uh, there's the phone there? I don't know. You see Keanu Reeves on a public right? bus. Yeah, you know? please. Please. Right. I, I, if you saw Keanu Reeves on a bus, you'd yeah. have to say, oh, am I in danger? <laughs> or what did I drink? Right? You know, it's like, what, what, no, no, what, I mean, it's me. got to stay at a certain speed is what he's referring to. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So uh, you now you're doing the uh, now you've done music. I, I've seen you on Comedy Central yes. doing music. The Naked Trucker and T-Bone Show. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Naked yes. Trucker and T-Bone Show. Yeah. Is this part of the what you're doing no. here? There's no music. Years ago, I used to do that in my act. I closed with three songs from the old Naked Trucker show. Those are those are barn burners. I did not, again, payroll. I had to bring along a guitar player, or I could have learned to play guitar, but I, I don't. Who has time? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have time. If you, there's always five o'clock in the morning. Yes, exactly. Right? It's probably three chords, as all songs are. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, no, this is uh, just stand up. And then, of course, Saturday afternoon matinee is the office trivia with the real Todd Packer. But no, this, this, this current show does not include music, although at last week's show in St. Louis, there were those women said, I saw you three years ago. Will you, will you do the $2 and a hand job song? So if someone comes tonight and says, will you sing $2 and a hand job from your old show? I will say, I will do that. But then it'll let me know that they saw, they listened to this show with me and Danielle reminiscing about our times together. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, I'll also do a, a something from Extract. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Just, yes. Just, just do your lines. It's going to be a three-hour show tonight. <laughs> I mean, listen, that's what people go to Laugh Boston. They're used right. to it. I mean, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just let you know there was a uh, a Beatles-themed magician there. Very what? <laughs> it was that Magic is, and that Beatles. Is, that is two entrees. It was the magic. and He was a magician who has crafted his act around the uh, the music of the Beatles. Now, how that works if he's removing rings and fascinating you, right. how you cannot get them apart while, you know, I want to hold your hand. Yes. I, I don't know if he's producing rabbits, uh, you know, during I Am the Walrus. You know, it's funny. I was thinking to myself when you said rings, the first thing I thought was, oh, I want to tell you something. I know we can't sing the whole thing, but that was the same song that came to my head. I want to hold what, your hand? Yes. Really? I swear to God, I don't know why. When you said producing rings, the song I put to it was, 
I want to hold your hand, but I started the earlier part of the song. That's interesting. It's the German OE that's connection German, you guys have. Uh, yeah. It's not really interesting, but the fact that I said that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. not, there's no, there's well, I mean, no you, you, have, you have some no gravitas to you <laughs> that, that, it, that it does uh, It does do oh, that. Oh, I want to tell you something. Yes. I spoke it so you don't have to pay money. <laughs> yeah, they're very... Right? The, the, the yeah. Beatles they're publishing company is, call. is yes. really on top of what's going on right? during they're listening this to you local guys. sports radio show Ricky, this morning. Ricky Williams made them go, hey, we need to pay more attention to that. <laughs> Yeah, he's selling weed on the air. I mean, yeah. Right? That was good? yeah. So he's How's got he feeling these days. He, he, he looks great. Yeah. He's, he, I mean, he looks normal. You obviously know the story about yes. how he. Yes. Well, well, he's turned that into his business. He is now wow. this. It's called Heisman. Is the name of his marijuana ah, lifestyle company. I don't know great if that was his, but okay. Yeah, great. Does he sell wedding dresses? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. That's a reference for what was it? Him and Ditka. Yeah. It was the yeah. Yes. The cover. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. talking about a stunt. Yeah. Well, Dicka wasn't afraid to do to push the boundaries of what not would be allowed right. would not be allowed today. Right. Dicka yeah. was not afraid of putting on the dreadlock uh, like uh, hat and everything. And uh, you're saying, "Oh, you old man, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> do you know what you're doing?" Gave away the franchise for one player. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's defense after all. Yes. Well. <laughs> And running back at the for that exactly. matter, and mm -hmm. not early in the first round. I mean, this is giving up your. It seemed to be a man who we've discussed this off the air. Dick, if you don't know, Mike Dick it was the coach of New Orleans, and I guess he was GM. And uh, he traded his entire draft for Ricky Williams the year Ricky Williams came out. And Ricky Williams was not the first running back. That no, Edwin James, James, James went before him. That's and right. uh, he and as John says, he lights up a cigar, makes the pick, yep. lights up a cigar, and walks out, just like. I didn't want to hang around for the whole time. Right. <laughs> like, like I, I, you guys, I'm going home. Like I yeah. made this move just so I didn't have to That's sit right. around anymore. That's right. Didn't talk to his coaches. What's he like as a human? Oh, okay, because there's trouble coming? Okay, got it. Yeah, got it. <laughs> there didn't seem to be a lot of research. It was like, Heisman, best player. Here's my draft. Here yeah, this isn't 1955, coach. Yeah, you're not right. running the wing T. Yeah, is, yeah. You're going to need some the other fl players. The right? flying V. <laughs> yeah, flying v. Yeah, that's right. That's a really old reference. Yes, <laughs> indeed. All right, David uh, Keckner uh, tonight at... At Laugh Boston, he's, there's no shortage of David Keckner going around. <laughs> uh, tonight, he will be uh, performing at 7.30 and 9.45. For three hours. As he was <laughs> <laughs> and don't accept a minute less. Right. I say you <laughs> demand. <laughs> and for $2, he will do something. Yeah. <laughs> he's available. Uh, uh, HJ. He's yeah. the guy uh, at uh, uh, belt level of the hole. He's behind it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very polite. It's very polite. Well, it, I'll look just, at you the entire time in the well, eyes. Well, that, that's a that, that that'll stick, take three hours. Stick like, your shoe under the door, and, <laughs> and then tomorrow uh, at four o'clock, the office trivia with Todd Packer, and then seven thirty and nine forty-five again. Again, details and tickets at laughboston.com. Uh, David, it's a pleasure to meet a pleasure. you. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, big fan. Uh, thank you. Thank you. A big fan of yours. And Danielle, thank you so much for. Thank hanging you for out having me. Well. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, oh, hang on. I got my yes. wife who's going to kill me. Is there going to be any talk of any kind of reboot of The Office? Uh, there's talk, but it's not going to happen. You don't think it would happen? So How are you going to get Steve Carell back? To... Because they oh, are Krasinski. giving away crazy money. I mean, think about think, uh, Lord of the Rings, yes. that TV show, right. just spent $50 million. I'm sorry, $55 million per episode. Wow. And you can't tell me that The Office, that has absolutely blown up, wow. as you would know, You're right. since it's got on streamers, that they wouldn't throw around crazy money to get would, you guys. I would be in line to take that crazy money. <laughs> I will wear dreadlocks and a wedding dress as Todd Packer yeah, because and be married to Ricky Williams on the show. I don't care. Because then you've got, then you've got like, I'm buying my own island money. Right, yes. Right. Oh, yeah. now I yeah. will tell you something. <laughs> You're singing it. Watch there it. I was. I, I will argue against that for, to the FCC. <laughs> All right, God hey, bless, David Keckner. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you.